OK, people have been asking for me to bring this back. I did it a few months ago. People loved it. I'm going to do it again. I am doing book recommendations today. I've been reading a ton. I was recently on vacation and I read three books while I was in Aruba. The David Pakman show book recommendation page is back. David slash recommendations. I'm going to make a newfound effort to keep it updated. And you can now once again, this has been gone for years. You can support the David Pakman show when you buy the books I recommend using the links at davidpackmancom slash recommendations. By the way, now I have to be very careful in how I say this. If you click on one of the links at davidpackmancom slash recommendations and you don't end up buying one of the books I recommend, but you buy something else that also supports the David Pakman show. I'm being very careful in the language that I use. All right, here's let's start. I'm going to give you two nonfiction books and two fiction books. I just finished this two days ago. American Kingpin. OK, the epic hunt for the criminal masterminds behind the Silk Road. It is extraordinarily well written by Nick Bilton. I think I read this in three days. It's close to 400 pages. I was so sucked in by it that over the long holiday weekend, Labor Day weekend, I read this in like three days. This book, number one, is just a caper of the highest uh, 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 level um, in catching Ross Albrecht, the uh, creator of the Silk Road, a dark web website on which firearms and drugs were bought and sold. It shows how clever some people in law enforcement can be. And it also shows us the dysfunction that exists between different law enforcement agencies and intelligence agencies. You know, we hear, oh, they don't work well together. This book, aside from just being extremely an, an extremely entertaining read, it sucked me in from the first page. Uh, it also shows the dysfunction that exists between agencies. So get this one, davidpackmancom slash recommendations, American Kingpin, the hunt for the criminal masterminds behind the Silk Road. My second nonfiction recommendation for you today is Plutocrats, Plutocrats by Christia Freeland. This is a book about without making ad hominems and without placing too many value judgments on things. It's a book about the development and growth of this sort of plutocratic overclass in American and world society. It deals with oligarch types in other countries. It talks about tax policy. It talks about a lot of the different political and financial elements that have led to much of the inequality that we now have. It's not just inequality in terms of money. The book points out it's also inequality in terms of access to education, which is related to money and other things. OK, Plutocrats by Christia Freeland, davidpackmancom slash recommendations. Use the links there to get it. OK, now two fiction books, a brand new one and then a classic. I read this during my vacation in Aruba a couple of weeks ago. Delta V by Daniel Suarez. This is much like American Kingpin is a real life caper. This is a sci fi uh, outer space sort of caper. It is an extremely interesting book, a lot of science in it, which in no way makes it feel like a slog in any way. The book moves. I think it took me like five days to read it. Of course, I was just sitting on the beach every day reading. It's easy to get through books that way. And it involves something we've been talking about in the real world, which is the possibility of asteroid mining in the future. It is so well written. The science in it makes it interesting. And I could not more highly recommend this book, Delta V by Daniel Suarez. I tweeted about it the other day and a couple of people tweeted me pictures that they had already purchased the book. That's a new fiction recommendation and then an old classic fiction recommendation. I'd never read this until a few months ago. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. Um, this there are many versions of this book. Of course, it was not written in English. This is, as far as I know, an unabridged Oh, no, it is a, a translated and abridged by Lowell Bear. This is a great translation. I recommend it. It doesn't it's not as long as some versions. This one is still 500 pages, but it goes quick. The Count of Monte Cristo is just one of the best stories that has been told, period. Uh, it's a story of revenge. It is a story of entrepreneurship, I would say. Um, it's just a great book. So all of these and many other recommendations go to davidpackmancom slash recommendations. Use the links on that page to get these books and then you will be supporting the David Pakman show in so doing. And also, if you buy any of these books, 
most authors are now on Twitter, not Alexandra Dumas. He's been dead for a long time, but many authors are on Twitter. I recommend if you get these books, help the show get attention in an organic way by tweeting to me and the authors. I bought your book because David Pakman recommended it. And uh, I'll do another one of these in a couple a couple of weeks if people are interested.